What is going on everybody and welcome to the lazy players guide to 99 hunter in this guide I'm gonna be showing you guys what I believe to be the most relaxing and most comfortable way to get to 99 hunter now me I'm not really a hunter fan and hunter is not really a skill that you can really be truly lazy with But we will get all into that in a bit so as usual, if you guys have any awesome loot tabs to send me, you can send them to the email address that is on the screen right now. If you're looking for a clan to join or maybe just do some casual PVM with some new friends, you can check out the description below. My Discord information and clan chat information is always there. And as usual, if you're looking for something specific in the video, there are timestamps also in the description below. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with the Lazy Player's Guide to 99 Hunter. So the hunter skill. It is my least favorite skill in RuneScape. Why? I really don't know. It's not that hard, nor is it a super long 99. It's just something that I could never really get into. But just for you fine people of YouTube out there, I've still done the research and gotten you all the numbers and statistics on how to be lazy with hunter, or as lazy as possible, since the skill really can't be done 100% AFK. First thing I want to go through is the quest that will reward you with hunter experience. Currently, there is only five of them. And most recently, the Hunter skill did not award you with a lot of quest XP, but with the addition of Song of the Elves, well, you get 20,000 more now. So, the quests are Natural History Quiz, which is actually a mini quest. It will give you 1,000 experience. The Ascent of Arceus, 1,500. Eagle's Peak will give you 2,500. Monkey Madness 2 will give you 15,000. And, once again, Song of the Elves will give you 20,000 for a total of 40,000 quest experience for the hunter skill not very significant and the only one you can do right when you get started is natural history quiz uh, but we'll get to that in a minute fortunately if you're not very fond of hunter like me the skill gets a lot faster as you level it as you go through the hunter skill reaching certain levels allows you to set up more traps at a time and if you're hunting in the wilderness you'll be able to lay one more additional trap than outside the wilderness so very quickly we'll go through the concurrent traps and the required levels at level one you can lay one trap two traps in the wilderness at level 20 you can lay two traps and three in the wilderness level 40 allows three traps and four in the wilderness level 60 will be four traps and five in the wilderness and at level 80 you can lay five traps outside of the wilderness and six within a good tip here is to always bring at least one extra trap then you can set up for faster catch rates if one of your traps is sprung but you haven't managed to catch anything you can set up another trap without the need to pick up your hunting items first then you relay the trap it doesn't save much time but enough to make a difference in the long run for example really quick if you are level 20 hunter you can lay two traps outside of the wilderness so you would actually want to bring three with you for the majority of this guide we're going to be focused on trapped creatures in my opinion it is the most afk aside from the birdhouse runs which we will cover soon and it's the easiest way to level your hunter fortunately for us there's a way to skip the annoying very early levels by doing a mini quest the mini quest a natural history quiz will grant you 1000 experience once completed it will put you at level 9 hunter without actually catching anything all you need to do for this is visit the Varrock Museum and speak to Orlando Smith to take the quiz. I'm not going to go through all of the questions because it would take too long, but if you'd like to see more information on this, I have left a link in the description below. Alright, so now that we are level 9, we can go ahead and get started with getting to level 99. The first method that I'm going to cover is going to be the birdhouse traps, and incredibly enough, this is a viable way to get all the way to level 99 if you want to take the extreme amount of time that it takes. Now you will have to do some quests to do this method. Quests you'll need for this are going to start with the Druidic Ritual quest, which is a requirement for the Dig Site quest. Following this, you'll actually need to do the Dig Site quest, which then leads to the Bone Voyage quest. Once you have completed Bone Voyage, you'll then be granted access to Fossil Island, where the birdhouses are. If you need guides to any of these quests, I have left links in the description below for both written and video guides. There are four locations for birdhouses on Fossil Island, which you can see on the map here, and these can be checked every 50 minutes. Along with hunter levels required to place birdhouses, you'll also need a corresponding crafting level to create the birdhouse. Obviously, the higher tiers of birdhouses will require higher crafting and hunter levels, but even if you can't make the best birdhouses, this is still a great way to get passive hunter experience. Additionally, you'll also receive some loot from checking the birdhouses. Depending on the tier of birdhouses used, your loot will increase. Your reward will be bird's nests, and the amount of nests received will increase based on the type of birdhouse you are making. 
To create the birdhouse, you'll need logs, a piece of clockwork, a hammer, and a chisel. Doing the birdhouse run itself doesn't take very long, and in terms of experience gained for time spent, even at level 5, this would be equal to 53,000 experience per actively spent hour. Now obviously you won't get 53k XP every 50 minutes, but in terms of 60 minutes spent doing birdhouse runs, you'll see 53,000 experience per hour at level 5, and it only goes up from there until you get to the top tier birdhouses. Now, I don't want this guide to turn into just a birdhouse run guide, so I'm going to cut this method off here. I think I have given you enough information on the birdhouse runs themselves to get started. If you'd like more information on the birdhouse runs, check out the description below for some useful links. Okay, so getting into the leveling guide, assuming you're not going to be doing only birdhouse runs to 99, which would take you forever by the way, we're going to be mainly focusing on lizards, salamanders, and chinchampas for this guide. These are the hunter creatures that I feel are the most relaxing and easy to do. We'll once again be starting off at level 9 here after completing the natural history quiz at the Varrock Museum. So, from level 9 to level 15, you will be in the Feldip Hunter area, which you can see on the screen now. The creature you will be catching is Feldip Weasels. The items you will need are a Noose Wand. You will need to catch 31 of them. They give 48 experience per successful catch, and you will need to get 1,442 experience from level 9 to 15. As for the experience per hour, I didn't calculate this. You won't be doing this that long, only about 30 minutes. From level 15 to 29, you'll be heading way up north to the Piscatorus Hunter area. The creature you will be catching are Ruby Harvests. The items you will need are a butterfly net and butterfly jars. You'll want to fill up your inventory with these butterfly jars, and it is highly recommended to have a set of full graceful, but if you don't, obviously don't worry, your run energy will just deplete faster. You will need to catch 401 of them. They give 24 experience per successful catch. You will need 9,620 experience from level 15 to 29. As for experience per hour, about 15,000, and you will be doing this for between 35 and 45 minutes. Alright, so here is where things get a little less annoying in my opinion. From here on out, you'll have the ability to catch different sorts of lizards or salamanders all the way to level 99. These do offer decent experience rates per hour, but it is not a profitable way to 99. We will get to the profit a little bit later. Catching lizards is pretty nice because it doesn't require your full attention. The areas you'll be in are relatively small, so you won't have to move much between the traps. And remember, always bring the items needed for one more trap than you can lay to set up traps before picking up your sprung traps. From level 29 to 47, you'll be in the Mauritania Swamp. The creatures you'll be catching are swamp lizards. The items you will need are ropes and small fishing nets. As for how many you need to catch, 416. They reward 152 experience per successfully caught swamp lizard. You'll need 63,096 experience from level 29 to 47. As for XP per hour, it will go up based on your level, but between 20 to 40,000 depending on your level at the time, and it will take you between 2 and 3 hours. From level 47 to 59, you will be in the Caridian Desert catching orange salamanders. The items you will need for this are small fishing nets, ropes, desert robes, and you will want to have at least 14 water skins with 4 doses in them to protect you from the desert heat. You will need to catch 772. They reward 224 experience each, and you will need a total of 172,759 XP from 47 to 59. As for XP per hour, once again this does scale with your level. Once you get up there higher, you will get a little more XP per hour. You can expect between 50 and 65,000, and it will take you 2.5 to 3.5 hours. From level 59 to level 80, you will be outside of the Oriana Cave. Creature caught, red salamanders, the items you will need are small fishing nets and ropes. You will need to catch 6,391 at an experience rate of 272 per successful catch for a total XP of 1,738,182 as for experience per hour, somewhere between 75 and 90,000, and it will take you between 19 and a half and 23 hours. So now we're at the home stretch for level 80 to level 99, where we'll be doing nothing but black salamanders. These guys are located out in the wilderness northeast of the Chaos Temple, but the vast majority of PKers don't really mess with people hunting here as they're only risking a few ropes and fishing nets. Now I do want to note here, this isn't the best experience to 99. Red and black chinchampas do offer better experience per hour and a profit, so I'm just throwing this out as an option if you'd rather do it this way, because most of the time the black salamanders area is pretty empty, so you won't really have to compete with anybody else for experience. So, 
From level 80 to level 99, you will be in the wilderness catching black salamanders. You will once again need small fishing nets and ropes. The amount you will need to catch is 34,613. They give 319.2 experience per catch. Total experience from 80 to 99 is 11,048,363. As for experience per hour, you can see anywhere between 105 and 125,000 and even over 125,000 XP per hour. As for time, it will take you between 88 and 105 hours. So that is going to do it for catching salamanders to level 99. It is a bit slower than this next method, but can still be used as a viable way to level 99. For this next method, we're going to be checking out red and black chinchampas, which offer not only more experience per hour, but also a very nice profit. We'll be starting this part of the guide out at level 63, so if you skip to this part of the guide and need to know how to get to level 63, head back a little bit and watch up to the red salamanders part of this guide. The first one we will be checking out is the Carnivorous Chinchampa, or more commonly referred to as the Red Chin. In order to set box traps, you will need to complete the Eagle's Peak quest. If you need a guide, there is one in the description below. Some players, like myself, will choose to forego the better experience per hour and just do Red Chins all the way to level 99 because it doesn't involve being in the wilderness. Black Chinchampas are located around mid-wilderness, which can make the process of catching them mildly annoying because of PKers, but we will get to that in a minute. For the Red Chins, I highly recommend having the Western Provinces Hard Diary completed. This gives you access to the Red Chin Champa hunting ground, which is much less crowded due to Red Chins being so heavily botted. There are 15 Red Chin Champa spawns in the hunting cave. If you don't have the diaries completed, you can hunt the Red Chins in the Feldup Hunter area as well as the Gwyneth Hunter area north of Prifdinus. So, from level 63 to level 99, you will be catching carnivorous chinchampas. The items you will need are box traps. You will need to catch 47,796 of them. They reward 265 experience per successful catch. As for total experience from 63 to 99, it is 12,665,832. As for the experience per hour, it does differ depending on your current hunter level. At level 70, you can see 95 to 100k per hour. Level 80 gives 140 to 150k per hour. Level 90 will give you 160 to 170k per hour. And post 99, you can see between 195 and 205,000 experience per hour. But because we aren't perfect and taking into account averages, you can expect an average of around 165,000 experience per hour from level 63 to 99. As for the time it will take you, somewhere between 76 and 80 hours, which is much better than black salamanders, and the profit you will see, based on market values at the time of this video, is between 74 and 76 million GP. And last but not least, we will check out the more dangerous method of getting level 99 hunter. This method requires you to catch the black chinchampas located in the wilderness just south of the canoe spot. And once again, in order to set box traps, you will need to complete the Eagle's Peak quest. If you need a guide, there's one in the description below. Now unfortunately, you will be spending your time slightly above 30 wilderness. This will give PKers the opportunity to barrage or entangle you and teleblock you. It is recommended to wear armor with a high magical defense bonus to avoid this. This spot is decently PK'd because of the fact that black chinchampas are very expensive and some people out there hunting them like to stay for a long while, giving the chance for PKers to kill someone for a decent stack of black chins, which in turn is worth a decent stack of GP. So from level 73 to level 99, you will be catching black chinchampas. The items you will need are box traps. The amount you will need to catch is 38,228. As for experience, they give 315 experience per catch for a total of 12,041,536 from level 73 to 99. As for experience per hour, you can expect an average of around 200,000. As for time, 60 to 64 hours if you are uninterrupted and not using tick manipulation. You're probably going to get PK'd, so that time is going to go up. Personally, I would just stick with red gins, but it is entirely up to you. As for the profit, a very hefty amount, 112 to 116 million GP, assuming you don't get PK'd for all your black chins. Well, I think that is going to wrap up the leveling guide for being lazy with the hunter skill. Like I said before, there is no 100% lazy way to get 99 hunter, but I personally think these methods are the most relaxing and stress-free. But before we end the video, I do want to go through a quick recap of some totals. So if you're using the salamander method to level 99, unfortunately we won't see any profit as the salamanders are catch and release. Even if you did decide to bank them, they don't really sell for that much. 
As for your total time from level 1 to 99, you're looking at between 113 and 135 hours, depending on experience per hour and how much attention is paid for the red chins. As for a total profit, you're looking at somewhere between 74 and 76 million GP. As for time spent, it'll be between 82 and 90 hours. And for the black chin champas, you'll be seeing a total profit of between 112 and 116 million GP. And your total time spent, assuming no PKers mess with you, is going to be between 66 and 74 hours. All right, everybody, that is going to wrap up the Lazy Player's Guide to 99 Hunter. I sincerely hope that this video has taught you something and maybe you have learned something that you didn't know before. So if you like this video, you can leave a thumbs up down below. They really do help the video's popularity. If you haven't done so yet, you can tap the subscribe button. It is right down there in the bottom right corner. Also in the description below, if you're looking for some sort of knickknack, runescape related t-shirts there is a link to my teespring shop and if you have your ad blocker enabled you might want to consider joining the channel to support my channel so guys that is going to do it i will see you guys on the next lazy players guide to 99 take it easy everybody